Are these legitimate fights or have they been paid? This is stupid. Let me just start there. This is, this is stupid. And the reason why this is stupid is because just don't treat me like I'm immoral. So ask, please, do you know, anything you want. Just don't treat me like immoral. Because I think we know what's happening here. I think we know what's happening here. Because on the face of this, yeah, Tyson should beat this freaking dude. But that's not what the whole cell is about. Because as I've been watching this and looking at everything, I'm saying to myself that, are these legitimate fights? Or have they been paid? Think about this. You're a fighter. A UFC fighter, celebrity, what's, whatever you may be. And you've been offered millions to throw the fights. What do you do? Try and fight, you know, do my thing, or win millions for just throwing through the fights. At the end of the day, I want to get paid. Throwing fights in boxing goes way, way back. Because you have to make a financial economic decision. And for some people, pride? Shout out to Ving Grimm's in Pulp Fiction. F your pride. <laughs> Sometimes pride doesn't pay the bills. Pride is cool. Pride is cool. It don't pay the bills. It don't really pay the bills. And when I'm just looking at what Jake Paul is doing, a guy who has just entered into boxing from being a YouTube star into boxing and looking at the professional fighters he is beating, I have to believe that this is staged and this is rigged. And it makes sense if you've been offered a lot of cash. So my question is, does Tyson need the money? So that's just what I've been trying to rack my brain around because a part of me says, oh yeah, Tyson, he'll knock this to clean out. And he almost did the same thing to Roy Jones Jr. Because on one hand, you could say that this is Tyson. He's much older. Like I think he's almost 60 now. But the thing about Tyson and what we saw in our Roy Jones Jr. fights is and Roy Jones Jr., he realizes Tyson had like a flashback. And once Tyson just enters that ring, his brain just switch, switches. So my so the aspect of me is, does Tyson just switch back to this dude here who, bro, he'll knock you clean out? Or is it a case of Tyson's just looking for a nice payday? And maybe what's the try to arrange is, let's just make this fun and interesting. And let, maybe let's just make this um, go to points. And then I'll, and I'll go through. Because it's all, see, boxing is about promotion and it's about the sell. So what is the sell? The sell is, I want to see Jake Paul be knocked down. Nobody did this better than Floyd Mayweather. See, once he transitioned from, from pretty boy Mayweather to money Mayweather, Maybe they knew that. That's it. That's the sell. People want to see me be. So, if I play the villain and I am arrogant, I am braggadocious, that's the sell. People want to see Ricky Hatton beat me. People want to see Manny Pacquiao beat me. People want to see Conor McGregor beat me. And I've got to convince people to come to the fight to see me get beat. Because they want to see me lose. And also because I'm undefeated. It's all about the sell. And what is the sell here? Mike Tyson. Everybody knows Mike Tyson. He's one of the most popular sports figures in history. And he's known for being a knockout artist. That is what's made him legendary. So people are like, yeah, I want to see Tyson knock out Jake Paul. That's the sell. Now, if Jake Paul wins, it's like, okay, yes. Okay, you beat a 60-year-old. Yes, Tyson is still strong. There's still the knockout there, but he is way past his, his peak, you know, and you're much younger than him. But 
People are not thinking about that. Remember, this is about the 99% and the 1%. The 99% are convinced that this is still Mike Tyson, still in his peak. And they're hoping that this dude turns up. This dude turns up and he knocks him clean out. But my thing here is, these fights are staged. I know they're, I'm, I know they're staged. It ain't, it's because they're staged, I'm sorry. And again, think about it. I'm being offered millions to throw a fight. Okay. Because for a lot of these fighters, I'm sorry, they need the money. And that's the check of throwing the fights is better than, than the check in what they're doing in their vocation. Which is why, Jake Paul, if you want to prove to me that you're real and you're a battle life and you're a real boxer and you want to remove all doubts, you want to remove all doubts from myself that this is real and I should give you full kudos, simple. Fights Canelo. Fights Canelo Arderes. Fight him. You know why? He has been outspoken about this charade of YouTubers coming into the boxing circle and said this is ruining boxing and it is insulting to boxing. And he's right to an extent. He's right overall. As me, I'm not really a boxing purist, but I respect boxing as a science and as an art form. And yes, he's right that, of course, it's, it's, a, it's a joke. But for Canelo, money's money. Viewers are viewers. And as of right now, more people are looking to a Jake Ball fight than most of the boxing fights because boxing just doesn't have this, the boxers don't have the same attraction as these YouTubers. But for Jake Paul, okay, proved, if you prove to him that you're a real guy, go fight Canal Alvarez. Because 1,000% for sure, Canal Alvarez doesn't need, need the money. He is very well paid. And second of all, there is no chance in hell Canal Alvarez will even dare to agree to throw a fight for however much you offer him. Because what Canal Alvarez want to do is to knock him out and knock Jake, Jake Paul out. So if Jake Paul now beats Canal Alvarez, I believe you. Because I truly believe Canal Alvarez, no way he's taking a payday. And no way he's, he's taking money to throw the fights. But we all know Jake Paul ain't never going to fight Canal Alvarez because he knows that he, you, you will get this destroyed. Because this is a boxer, not a UFC fighter, not a part-time guy. This is a professional boxer at the peak of his game, still actively boxing. And if Jake Paul steps in the ring with him, he would get beat. And Canal Alvarez ain't looking for points. He's looking to knock him out. To prove a point. He will be looking to knock him out the way he did, um, was it Amir Khan? <laughs> Cleaner. So prove to me. So am I going to watch this? Maybe for, for purely entertainment. The, I'm not taking this seriously. Like, I'm, I, I'm not watching this in the same way I'm, I'm watching, that I watched like Tyson Fury against Usyk or how I watched the Tyson Fury Usyk rematch where, okay, this is serious, this is real. I'm not really focused. This... Just pure entertainment. Like I'll watch it in the background, laugh, ha, 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 and maybe we'll do like a yeah, we'll probably do like a live reaction to it. This is just pure jokes, pure entertainment. So just for a laugh, I just wanted to see how it goes. Whatever happens, my view on this is still the same. That this is all a charade. If Tyson wins, it's a charade. Jake Paul wins, it's a charade. It's a draw, it's a charade. But this is just it's a, it, look, it, it's it's Tyson. So I'm like, oh wow, same thing. I watched the last thing because it was Tyson. Back of the ring after ages against Roy Jones Jr. Two of my favorite boxers of all time, Roy Jones Jr. Tyson. I wanted to watch it, you know. So I'll see it. But look, for me personally, what would be amazing is if he knocks him out in 30 seconds. That would be amazing. That would be surely amazing. And I think at the end of the day, they've even got me to a degree, even if I still believe it's a really, it's a, it's a joke, it is Tyson. And it's just interesting, just because Mike Tyson, he, he still has a few screws, because I watch his podcast, he's still got a, a few screws loose up in there. I'm just interested to see what he's going to do in the ring. <laughs> just out of curiosity, is that, is it going to be, okay, this is an exhibition, okay, this is not too real, or is that Tyson going to be pulled out there? Is it, I can't decide, maybe you, you guys tell me below. Is this, is, is this all a, a joke? Is this really a charade? Because I still believe it's a charade, or... Is this real and could Tyson really just ex explode and, and, go, and go crazy? Talk to me. But yeah, probably do our live reaction after 
this crazy thing. But yeah, Jake Paul, go fight Canelo Alvarez. Fight, fight Canelo, man.